Hi guys, it's Rob here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to map drums in Logic Pro. Okay, so the first thing we want is a new track. So go to Track New. And we want to have a software instrument track for our drums, outputs 1 and 2. Uh, in fact, you leave that as default and hit Create. Okay, so this gives us a new track. By default, it's on the EVP88. Um, in this tutorial, we can, we're not going to use that obviously because it's not really for, no, well, that isn't for drums. So if you click here and hold and then choose the EXS24 sampler in stereo. Okay, so this is the EXS24 sampler. So the first thing we want to do is load up the drum kit. So if you click here, on mine it's under factories, drums and percussions, acoustic drum kits, you can choose whatever you want, but I'm going to go for dry standard kit. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to what that kit's like. Okay, yeah, it's definitely a drum kit. So, now at this point you could use a keyboard or what you just saw me do there, capital locks brings up that, and you could play it as you go along. But what I want to show you how to do is how to map them out yourself. So, if you go to the beginning of the piece, hold down control on your keyboard and then click. Small menu appears, click the create empty MIDI region okay so this gives us some area to play with so if you drag this to let's just say uh, two bars for now or two sections I should say um, and then double click this area this is where we're going to start mapping our drums so if we look here on the left hand side we have the keyboard and if we click on these keys you can actually hear what the, the, the samples are it's got a kick drum, snare, another snare a few toms, moving on to cymbals, and not a lot else up at the top. Okay, so how then we, do we start programming them in? Well, I have this set up, so on the second box here, I've got the pencil tool, and then a the pointer on the first. So what that means is when I push the command button on the keyboard, it changes the pencil tool, which allows me to click in uh, the notes I want to program in. So if we go back to the first uh, bar, the first part of our song or piece. If you click, hold down the command and then click, that gives us a kick drum. And if you do the same bit later on, it gives us a snare drum. Now these are essentially your beats. So you've got a one to two as a bar, and then you've got your four beats within the bar. So being a drummer, or well, attempting to be a drummer, I know that's going to make well an awful beat but I'll do for our purposes here so we've got the kick going along and then the snare around there somewhere there we go okay um, let's just make it slightly interesting and put a hi-hat in there's Chuck that in at the end there. Um, actually, for demonstration purposes, I'll put a couple of these in as well. Put that in as well. You'll see why in a second. Okay, so if we then click at the beginning, at the top here where it says number one, hold it down, and drag it across to the number three, what this does, as you can see down here, it starts a loop. So we can just keep on hearing the, uh, the same two bars over and over again. So then hit space bar. And there we go. A very basic drum uh, pan, but to be honest, that sounds, well, it sounds very robotic. You know, there's no feel to it. It's always a problem with uh, sampled drums to get it sounding realistic like this way, but there is a couple of things you can do just to kind of get it there. Okay, so the first thing I always find is the hi-hat. If you just listen to hi-hat, it's the same volume all the way through. It's awful. So what I tend to do on a beat like this is every offbeat hi-hat I select, and you can select multiple ones. If you hold down the shift key, that actually allows you to select uh, more than one. Okay, and then if you go to the top here, click lists, you can see that all the ones we've selected, these are all the notes in our two bars. So you've got the kick drum, you've got the snare, you've got everything there. The ones we've highlighted show up in this sort of darker area here. Now this 
column here shows the volumes of each note. So if we pull this down, oh, yeah, sounds get quieter. If we increase it, they get louder. Okay, so let's make it a bit quieter than the, the ones as it's going along. And you can see this here, that the note's gone slightly, uh, like a more of a bluer colour, just to emphasise when they get really loud, they get red, as you'd expect. Um, so if we just listen to that now, Okay, so hi-hats, they're kind of sounding a bit less robotic, so let's just uh, select the alternate ones from what we had before. So these are going to be the on-beat hi-hat sounds. And let's just bump them up a bit. So now we've got... Okay, so it's kind of, again, you could probably get away with using that in some cheesy pop song or something. A um, couple of other bits, maybe we want this kick drum just a bit quieter uh, the first kick drum you know beginning of the bar give that some welly in fact I'll probably do that on at the start of each bar could work Let's just put up to about there so now we've got Now, like I say, going back to the hi hats, this sounds really, it sounds awful. So, I don't know exactly what I'd do here because uh, I'm just kind of thinking off the top of my head, but maybe have a really quiet one there and have a really quiet one there. I don't know. We'll see how that sounds. Uh, maybe this, I kind of want this to lead into it, so really bring that down. Um, if you want to get back to the beginning, if we didn't have this loop on, you can hit return on your keyboard and that will. Take it back to begin like that. Hit space to start. So if you just listen to those hi hats at the end here, this group of four here, it just sounds a lot less robotic. Just because it's got a bit of dynamic in there. Okay. And that's about as much I want to show you. This, like I say, just a quick introduction on how to map drums. Um, we start off in the EXS24 sample just because it's simple and easy. Uh, give it a go and see what you come up with.